Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to get around the Windows cannot connect to the printer error 0x000011B. Not sure if I got the right amount of zeros or not, but anyways. So when you have a shared printer, so I have a, this is a virtual machine running in Windows 11, then um, the host is Windows 10. So on this Windows 10 computer, I shared this LaserJet Pro M118. So if I go to printer properties, sharing, you can see it's shared with this name. So that's fine. So now on the Windows 11 virtual machine here, so let me just make this full screen here. So if I go to printers, let me go back a step here. Printers and scanners, add device. Now of course it's not gonna find it. If it was a network printer, you know, I could do it by IP address, or if it was a wireless printer, I could do it by, you know, setting up a wireless printer, but this is a printer connected directly to another computer on the network. So I'm going to click on Add Manually, and so I want to search for it by name for the Windows 10 computer. Click on Browse, I'm going to put the name of the computer, and 10, Search, and you'll probably get prompted for credentials for the uh, computer that's hosting the computer, so make sure you know those. So here's the printer I want to use. Okay, so I got that there. Click on Next. Cannot connect to the printer. And here's our same error again, so okay. So a couple ways you could try and get around that, so we'll see um, how these work. The first one is to create this new registry key, um, RPC authentic level privacy enabled, and set it to zero to disable it. So that's done through the reg edit. So you click on reg edit, you browse to this key here, HK Local Machine System, Current Control Set, Control Print, which you have here, then you would just right click, New, D Word 32 bit value, and I have that here, name it that, make sure it's exactly like this, and then double click it, set it to zero, and OK, and then reboot, and then you should be good to go. Well, I shouldn't say should, you might be good to go. Works for some people, didn't work for me on this computer, so that didn't work. Uh, the next step is to look for certain updates here. You can look in your control panel. If you go to, let's go back to home here. Programs and features, view installed updates. See if any of these KB numbers match the ones in the list here, which I'll put in the description. And then you could also go to your Windows update settings here in the Windows actual settings. Go to update history. And then you could browse through these to see if any of these match. So in this case, none of them match. So I can't uninstall any of these updates to try and get around this uh, security thing. It's it's like a security patch that Microsoft did to kind of help you know secure network uh, printing functionality, but in in many cases it causes this problem with this error. So that didn't work. So you could also run the printer troubleshooter, and I've done that on this computer and it doesn't do anything. So what we're going to do next is create a local port with this name that we had. From the first step. So once you go through the first step, you browse for the computer, copy this path here, because what we're going to do now is go to back to add a printer here. And click on add manually again. So the same thing we did. And this time we're going to do a local printer with manual settings. Click on next. We're going to create a new port, local port, next. And then for the name, we're going to paste in this information that we had from before. OK. So now we need a driver. So you could try Windows Update, or I guess you could see if it's in the list here, which I do have in here. Or if you have a disk, you could, you know, if you downloaded the drivers, you could browse to them from here. Try Windows Update, so fortunately we have it listed here. Click on Next, and we'll, either one here, we'll, let's replace the driver just for fun here. Okay, we'll see, we'll keep the name here. Okay, we don't need to share the printer since it's already a shared printer by this other computer. Okay, let me turn on the printer here. 
I'm going to boot up and then we'll try a test page and see what happens. Okay, you can hear the printer going right there. So we have our printer installed, you know. So let's see what we have under printers now. Okay, so now it's listed here under our printers. So once again, um, I'll just do the last step if none of those other steps will work for you. Click on Add Manually, Shared Printer by Name, put in the name of the hosting computer. That is the uh, computer that has the shared printer on it. Find your printer in the list. Copy this name here. Go to Local Printer, Create a New Port, Local Port, Put the name in there. If I do it again, it say it'll say it already it already exists. Uh, add your driver, and then you should be good to go. All right. Hopefully that makes sense. And thanks for watching. And be sure to subscribe.